Welcome back. It's good to see you again. Well, it's good to be a part of your life again. It's really, really great. I'm really excited to be there. So remember, we are going to do supplies of paper and pencil, crayon, or pen, something to write with, just paper and something to write with. No scarf today. All right, let's go to the essential question. How can I identify types of voices and symbols of simple dynamics? Let's say that again. Say it with me. How can I identify types of voices and symbols of simple dynamics? Well, first of all, remember what a dynamic is? Loud and soft volumes in music. Over here. Loud and soft volumes volumes in music. Loud and soft volumes in music. Okay, with that we're going to start with a video. Hi all, Kermit the Frog here today to talk to you about the words loud and quiet. Elmo, uh, not today, uh, and please don't talk so loud. <clears throat> so loud? Uh, yes. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Green Frog. Good. Elmo, not talk loud. Fine. Elmo, talk quiet. Yeah. Uh, yes. No, Mr. Okay. Green Frog, let Elmo help. What? Let Elmo help. Uh, well, well, thank you, but no. You see, today I want to tell everybody about loud and quiet, and unfortunately, I don't need your help. You see. I'm sorry, Elmo. Elmo talk very quiet now, huh? Great. Okay. You talk quiet. I will talk quiet too, Elmo. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> what is the green frog going to talk about? I was going to talk about two things. I was going to talk about quiet. Quiet. Like how Elmo and Mr. Green Frog talking right now? Yes. And I was also going to talk about loud. <laughs> loud. Like how Elmo and Mr. Green Frog were talking before. Before. Yes. That's right. That's right, Elmo. But, you know what? What, I, Mr. Green Frog? I think I'm finished. I think you've already helped me talk about loud and quiet. Oh. Elmo helped Mr. Green Frog? Mm hmm. You did. Oh, boy. Uh, Elmo's so Elmo. happy. Uh, Elmo helped Mr. Green Elmo. Frog. Elmo, not so oh. loud. Okay, now we're going to draw. So what I want you to do with your pencil and your paper, the P for soft. Now make sure to write this down because you're going to need this information for the next piece of what we're doing. And then an M for medium. And then an F for loud. Okay, draw this. P equals soft, S-O-F-T. M equals medium, M-E-D-I-U-M. And F equals loud, L-O-U-D like over here. Okay. Now with that said, we're going to watch another video. And see how you can use these definitions for this.
All right, go back to your piece of paper and we had P for soft, M for medium, and F for loud. Well, what if we had two P's? That means very soft. What if we had two F's? What do you think that means? Right, very loud. Here we go. Hello people, hello friends. This is the show where the fun never ends. We've got beats and notes and everything that you'll ever need to know to play or sing. Come on in, don't be shy. Luigi's here. And Mike's the guy. With all our friends, you're sure to be in the know. So welcome to the music, welcome to the music, welcome to the music show. From Mario Go. Welcome to the music show, everybody, starring me, Luigi's Baton. And co-starring me, Mike, the microphone. Cadence the drum. And Fred the guitar. Oh, oh that's me. Today, we're going to do the entire music show in Italian. Bellissimo. But wait, little buddy, we don't know how to speak Italian. Mike is right. The only Italian I know is... Pizza and lasagna. <laughs> and they have no place in music. Hmm, you're right. Okay, well then we'll just speak with an Italian accent. Bravo! Bravo. You see, uh, you do a speaker Italiano. Bravo is Italiano. <laughs> sure. It means, uh, what does it mean? It means splendid. Well done. Bravo! A actually, Mr. Luigi's baton, sir, I, I do know another Italian word. You do? Sure. If you want to read music, it's good to know a couple of Italian words and their symbols in music, like forte. Forte? I know that word. It means loud. I could have told you that. Oh! And piano means a soft. I forgot that was Italian. And mezzo means right in the middle. Not too loud or too soft, but just right. Medium. What is this? An episode of the Three Bears? <laughs> no, no, no. If you put mezzo in front of forte or piano, you get mezzo forte or medium loud. And mezzo piano, medium soft. These are called dynamics. And they tell us how loud or soft we should sing or play the music. And I've got a song that tells us all about them. Uh, let's sing it, shall we? Why not? After all, this is The Music Show. And music is... Fundamental! I find that weirdly appealing. <laughs> Fantastic! 
Bravo, everybody. Nice Italiano, Fred. Grazie. Well, that's uh, all we have a time for today. See you again really soon, right here on the music show. Ciao, ciao, everybody. <laughs> Back to paper, here we go. Let's start out with going back to the definitions. P equals soft. M equals medium. F means loud. Whoops. Loud. Now, what was the Italian word for soft? You can see right there, it's really teeny over there. Piano. Medium. Mezzo. Loud. Forte. Now, did you know that the real name for the piano is piano forte? Think about all those pianos in our classroom. They started out with the name piano forte. Now, why would that happen? Well, way back when we had something called the harpsichord and before and before the piano we had the harpsichord and it played it just played it wasn't loud it wasn't soft it was just kind of had loud soft but nothing in between so then we went to a piano and we called it the piano forte because now we could have extremes loud soft in the middle all these types of dynamics, which was kind of cool. Remember that one for future reference. Let's talk about the assignment. In the attachments are two PDF files. The first one is a picture of something you're going to be cutting out. It's old-fashioned radio. And you're going to cut this out, and then there's a fold right here. So you're going to take this fold, and you're going to be able to put it across in here, follow the instructions, cut out the marker and fold in half along the solid line, then fold along the dotted lines to it look like this. Okay, and you'll see this on the attachment. Cut slits into the radio right here and right here. Put each end of the marker through the slit. As you listen to the music, move your marker to F when the music is loud and P when the music is soft. So go out and play some music, or maybe one of these videos, you can go back into our lesson again. And when it is loud, you slide the tab over to loud. When it is soft, slide the tab over to soft. You do not have to turn this back in. All I want you to do is have fun with this, okay? And then the other one is called, if you need a buddy. Write F or P in the boxes, perform if you need a buddy for the class. Well, you are the class. So what you're going to do is you're going to read this. If you need a buddy whistle, would that be loud or soft? And you're going to write in there how you would sing that. And then we have the next part. If you just need a pal, let me know. Would that be loud or soft? And you decide. There is no wrong or right answer. How are you going to sing this? And then, I will be your buddy, I will be your pal, F for loud or P for soft. Friends wherever we go, loud or soft. Then we're going to sing it. If you need a buddy, whistle. Not much for whistling. If you need a pal, just let me know, cause I will be your buddy. I will be your pal, friends wherever we go. All right, and that's how you're going to sing it. If you need to remember how to read this music and you can't remember where the notes go, that's okay because we haven't covered that too, covered that too much in music yet. You could re, you could go backwards in the video, listen to me sing it, and then you sing it. All right, well that's it for the week. Have a great time with the assignments, and I'll see you next time. Bye.